going to be showing you guys some of our favorite hunts from this past season and some hunts that have never made the cut. Our first hunt is from two years ago. This is one of our good friends Don who harvested a beautiful eight point in Ohio. Well, here we are. This is the last night in Ohio. After night we're going to pack up and head, for, head back for Michigan. Uh, Joel's put us in a super spot. This is a field in the middle of the woods. It's surrounded completely by woods. The deer feel at home here. They'll feed here all times of the day. They've seen a big buck in the area, a real nice one. And uh, he's, uh, he's let us come back here to try and hunt this kind of a honey hole that's uh, uh, back in the swamp. So we're pumped up. This is, this is a good opportunity. I hope we can make it happen. Not long after they got set up, the field started filling up with deer. And then the buck they wanted stepped out. There he is, there he is, right over there. He's gonna jump the fence. Once this buck got into range, Don didn't hesitate to take the shot. Back him down. Did I get it? Where'd go? The shot was a little far back, but it did the trick, and Don had his white tail in Ohio. What a nice mature buck. Looks like he's a he's a main eight. Got big, thick beams. Oh, he's a dandy. What a great buck. Don't go anywhere. We've got more of our favorite hunts coming up. Our next hunt is also in Ohio, where I was able to harvest my first buck with a bow. It's November 2nd here in Ohio, and we are in the tree stand. Uh, there's a really nice buck that's been hanging around this area. My dad sat here a few mornings, but never saw him. Uh, my dad saw a really nice buck, though, last night in a different tree stand, and he pulled back on him, but just couldn't make it happen. But hopefully, we have some good luck today. About an hour after sunrise, Austin and I could hear some movement back in the woods, and sure enough, there was a big boy coming in.
What are you? Oh my God. I heard him stop. Shaking like I know, I'm shaking so bad. We just got down and we're gonna go look for some blood and follow it and hopefully there's a deer at the end of the trail. Okay, ready? Can we go now? We called Xavier and let him know that we possibly had a big boy down. Then Austin and I got down from the tree and started looking for blood. You get junk everywhere. Have you ever seen that one? Splits. Three. Congratulations. Thank you. How far was he? 15 yards. It was an awesome experience harvesting my first buck with a bow. Up next is Austin's turkey hunt from this past season. Okay, so this morning's sit didn't work out, and the kids had to go back to school. So now me and Jada came out to check the field that we were at last night, and we have the group of toms and a hen out right in front of the blind, but we can't get to the blind. So we're going to set up where they crossed yesterday, and I'm going to try to shoot one with my bow. It's going to be a challenge, but I think with the Prophecy, PSE, and the Ramcat, we can get it done. So we will see. Let's go. We got set up on this group of toms where we thought they would come through, but they just weren't cooperating. So we decided to test our limits, try to get a little closer in hopes that they would come to us. Once we got set up without scaring the turkeys off, Austin started calling and within seconds, we had turkeys all around us. <laughs> I was thinking there was no way Austin was gonna take this 50 yard shot with these turkeys all over us with the little coverage we had, but Austin pulled back and he went for it. Nice shot, Austin. Way to oh go! God. Oh my god! So oh my gosh! Oh my god. That yes. was amazing! I just smoked the turkey with the PSE Woo. Prophecy and the Ramcat broadhead at 50 Swapping. yards. Yes! That was perfect. It was dead on. 50 yard oh shot. Gosh, the Ramcat PSE combo did its job. Awesome setup. Woo! Let's go see him. That was, that was amazing. Sick. Yeah. I can't believe that that just happened. I know, that's crazy. Oh my god. 50 yard shot, PSE. That is why we shoot PSE and use the Ramcat broadheads. And the broadhead is still in perfect condition. Welcome back. Every year we guide elk hunters here in Michigan. This year we had a couple pure Michigan hunters and here's our favorite elk hunt from this past season. We're set up for the evening here. We're watching a, uh, a big rye field. I think it's got turnips in it too. Our Michigan DNR plants these fields. We sat here last year as well and took a nice pull out. 
in order to take the pressure off of the farmers in the area so they don't have to deal with crop damage. Saw a lot of bulls in here this morning. We're hoping that the big boy shows up here tonight. We have to see what happens. Earlier today we saw something just short of Elkasaurus Rex. Major, major elk. And now he dwarfed the other ones. Exciting as can be. That's really the biggest game animal I've seen in my hunting career in Michigan. Um, so it really got the heart rolling this morning. It was a warmer fall, and so they didn't want to come out until later. This six by six came out that a lot of people would shoot, but I said, no way. I know there's bigger bulls in this area, and we could hear them in the distance bugling, and we just needed them to challenge this one. This is exactly what they needed to happen in this situation. This bull had just went down into the valley and it gave our hunters a chance to get around and get into a better position to take a shot on this bull. See those cows running left? He's still to the right. No, I don't see the cows. Okay, good. He's okay, he's, he's not. Just he's just standing there. Is he? You're okay. I don't see him. You're gonna see him. You know where you shot him? He's straight back. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Big boy! Go! Go! Yeah. Oh my gosh! How far was that shot? How many shots did it take? I think uh, one. Just one, eh? I like this gun. It's three for three for me. I, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. I can't tell you, this is unbelievable. I've wanted a bull elk for over 20 years. I've been applying in Michigan. Over 20 years, in early January, I got a call from Russ Mason, Michigan DNR chief, telling me I won the Pure Michigan Hunt. And I called him all kinds of things, but I didn't think he was telling the truth. And uh, here it is. Nine months later, and a 20-year dream has just been fulfilled. I mean, honest to God, I can't explain in words. This is just absolutely amazing. This next hunt is one of my personal favorites. My little sister harvests her first buck here in northern Michigan. We are in the, uh, what we call the alfalfa field. It's gotten brown, but they're still coming out here and feeding in it and uh, picking away at it. Uh, we lost our snow, and they were out here last night, too, and there was a decent buck out here last night. Um, that we have on camera. It's an eight point real tall, uh, probably a three and a half year old. Uh, Bat, Maddie's never shot a buck before, so this will be her first one. She's passed up on little ones and spikes and stuff like that. She's been very picky, and that's good. Um, but uh, if this one comes out tonight, she's got the green light.
off. So. You don't. You don't think so? I do. I, you think? I'm pretty sure. Please be dead. Did you put it right on his front shoulder? Yeah. Okay, Mandy, what just happened? I have a trouble with rush right now. Anyways, um, anyways, we've been waiting and this is our second last night, and I just shot one, and hopefully he's down, because they ran off, and let's see what happens. Well, Maddie got her first buck, and uh, she's been into it. We have been hunting hard, haven't we? Yeah. I love seeing young hunters in the outdoors. We've got one more hunt for you guys. Don't go anywhere. Big Boys TV will be right back. Welcome back. Another one of my favorites is my hunt in Africa where I was able to harvest an eland. These animals are huge and they're a big accomplishment, especially when you can take one with a bow. Later in the evening too, so we still got about an hour or so left of light, so we got some time. The eland is the biggest animal in the antelope species. Honestly, I didn't know a whole lot about the eland, and I was actually getting set up on a kudu, but Julio held me off because there was a big bull coming in, and he told me that I was gonna wanna take this one, so we got set up on this eland. We waited a little bit and it was getting dark quick so we decided to go after this animal and it looked like the ram cat did its job. We had a great blood trail and thankfully at the end there was this beautiful eland. I was so excited about this animal. After talking to Julio about it and realizing how big of an accomplishment this was, I couldn't be happier. This is just a beautiful animal. There's a lot of people that have to come back three or four different times to shoot one of these. And uh, for me to be able to get it on my first trip to Namibia is just absolutely awesome. It's been another great year. We want to make sure and thank all of our partners for being such a big part of Big Boys TV. We also want to thank our crew because we couldn't do it without you guys and most importantly the fans. We would not be where we are today if it weren't for you guys. We've got a lot more years to come and we really look forward to what the future has for Big Boys TV. If you want to keep in touch with us, make sure and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and BigBoysTV.com. They don't have any elk up there. 20 point bull. 20 point bull. 20 point bull. Thanks. Thanks, Austin. That's not just that. I know. <laughs> <laughs>